done on behalf of Keel Seidler and the entire Padres family. I'd like to add my warm welcome to each of you and thank you for being here today to honor Peter. As many of you know, Peter was a reluctant recipient of praise, often turning the focus of a conversation or interview back on the other party, making them feel uniquely important and appreciated. Well, today is our turn to return the praise, and while it would have been so much easier to celebrate his life with him here today, we will carry on, certain of his presence in this ballpark that he so loved. Now I first got to know my friend, my dear friend, Peter Sodler, back in 1996, when, we, when he was a young investor, an entrepreneur really. We were roommates for a few months in those early years and lived in his home in Los Angeles, which featured oddly no furniture other than a concert grade drum set staged in the middle of the dining room. It was in those early years that we discovered our mutual love of running. As time went on, Peter's midnight runs would become legendary, usually accompanied by just his iPhone and an earpiece, often pausing to chat with strangers and share a word of encouragement. I think those hours spent alone gave him the space to problem solve, reflect, and experience gratitude for a life being lived well. You may not know that long before he had embarked on those midnight runs around the back roads of San Diego, dressed in a cotton sweatshirt from the 1980s. He was a marathoner. The first marathon he tackled was in Los Angeles. Ooh, in 1999. Peter and I ran together that year in cold temperatures and driving rain. Around mile 23, the course brought us temptingly close to his house. And we were both soaked and sufficiently miserable at this late stage. And with raindrops rolling down his face, he said to me, I think I'm going home now. And he did. Undeterred, three months later, we would run again, this time in the San Diego Yay. Rock and Roll Marathon, which he indeed finished in much more civilized conditions. I like to think that Peter knew then that this was where he belonged. In America's finest city, served to foreshadow the impact he would have on the community of San Diego. The horizons he saw were bright and hopeful. And there is more to say than time permits. And anyway, when measured against the eloquence of Peter's life, our words are very inadequate. And so I'll conclude these remarks with his words. Spoken just last year. One year soon, the baseball guys will smile on the San Diego Padres, and we will have a parade. To which I reply, on behalf of all of us gathered here today, we rejoice, dear Peter that you are now one of those baseball guys safely tucked into heaven. And we will do our part to fulfill your prophecy, knowing, in fact, that you are with us every step of the way. <laughs> 